next mass action law mass action law mass action law states that in a semiconductor the product of the product of electron and hole concentration the product of electron and hole concentration is always constant and it is equal to square of intrinsic carrier concentration square of intrinsic carrier concentration at thermal equilibrium thermal equilibrium means if the material temperature is kept constant and if we change in the composition of the material then before and after the change the electron and hole concentration the product of electron and hole concentration will be same that is mathematically it can be written as n into p equal to ni square n into p equal to ni square now first for intrinsic semiconductor for intrinsic semiconductor we can say uh, that n equal to p equal to ni the charge carrier concentration will be same for electron and hole in intrinsic semiconductor if the electron and hole concentration are same according to mass section law n into p equal to ni into ni equal to ni square which is verified we already knew that in n type semiconductor the mass section law can be applied to derive some equations n into p equal to ni square in case of n type semiconductor in case of n type semiconductor the whole concentration is minority carrier concentration and electron concentration is majority carrier concentration here we can uh, write this equation as p equal to ni square by n p equal to ni square by n from this i can say p is inversely proportional to n means minority concentration is inversely proportional to majority concentration so we can say that if in a semiconductor majority carrier concentration if in a semiconductor majority carrier concentration is increased minority carrier concentration will decrease so with donor type impurity with donor type impurity and the added electron concentration increases and hole concentration decreases further this equation can be used to derive some other equations uh, p equal to ni square by i can write n as nd because we have already shown that n is nearly equal to nd if n is substituted as nd so uh, then i can say that p is inversely proportional to nd or in general i can say that minority concentration is inversely proportional to doping concentration means with increase in nd with increase in nd whole concentration in the material decreases this equation we will use in our problems to solve the to solve the exam uh, gate problems
थर्ड फॉर पी टाइप सेमीकंडक्टर फॉर पी टाइप सेमीकंडक्टर एन इन टू पी इक्वल टू एन आई स्क्वायर फॉर पी टाइप सेमीकंडक्टर एन इन टू पी इक्वल टू एन आई स्क्वायर एंड इन पी टाइप सेमीकंडक्टर एन विल बी माइनॉरिटी चार्ज कैरियर एंड पी विल बी मेजोरिटी चार्ज कैरियर इन पी टाइप सेमीकंडक्टर एन कैन बी रिटर्न एज एन आई स्क्वायर बाय पी एंड नाउ इन पी टाइप सेमीकंडक्टर आल्सो आई कैन से दैट माइनॉरिटी कंसंट्रेशन मींस एन इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू मेजोरिटी कंसंट्रेशन सो इन पी टाइप सेमीकंडक्टर इफ वी इंक्रीज मेजोरिटी कैरियर कंसंट्रेशन means p there will be decrease in minority carrier concentration means n also in p type semiconductor p is nearly equal to nd so i can say that n is equal to ni square by nd and from this equation i can say minority concentration minority concentration is inversely proportional to doping concentration minority concentration is equal to dope is inversely proportional to doping concentration this equation in p type semiconductor will be used to solve problems now we will start a fresh topic that is फर्मी एनर्जी और फर्मी एनर्जी लेवल इन अ मटेरियल फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज द मटेरियल इन दिस मटेरियल देर आर डिफरेंट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सम आर बॉन्डेड सम आर फ्री आउट ऑफ दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन आउट ऑफ दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आई विल सी द एनर्जी ऑफ ईच इलेक्ट्रॉन आई फाउंड दैट दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन पजेस highest energy this electron possesses highest energy the energy of this electron which possesses highest energy is called fermi energy is called fermi energy of the material so now i can define fermi energy as the energy of electron which has maximum or highest energy in the material fermi energy is the electron is the energy of that electron which contain which has highest energy in the material fermi energy now fermi dirac function or uh, first we will see fermi level suppose we have energy band diagram of a material this is conduction band this is valence band oh, sorry consider a energy band diagram in which we have taken Eg equal to zero electron volt. Eg equal to zero electron volt means no forbidden band. No forbidden band. Conduction band and valence band. These are separated with a forbidden energy band, which is taken as zero here. at a t equal to 0 degrees kelvin in a semiconductor we have already seen that all the electrons will be bonded will means will be present in valence band and valence band will be totally filled while 
very few electrons will be uh, sorry while no electrons will be in conduction band that is no electron is available for conduction at t equal to 0 degrees kelvin so then conduction band will be empty conduction band will be empty now if I choose any energy level E in conduction band at a T equal to 0 degrees Kelvin uh, I know that in conduction band at any energy level there is no electron because conduction band is empty if I select any energy level E in valence band I know that at each energy level there is an electron in valence band at a t equal to 0 degrees Kelvin because valence band is totally filled so I can say that for finding an electron at any energy level E in conduction band there is 0% probability or finding an electron in valence band at any energy level E there is probability of 100% means at any energy level I will find an electron in valence band at and all the energy levels are empty in conduction band means there is no possibility of finding an electron in conduction band between conduction band and valence band this separation separation a will be represented by EF which is called Fermi energy level this Fermi energy level represents 50% probability of finding an electron electron means if we are looking for an electron at this energy level there will be exactly 50% probability because if we go to the energy level above this there is 0% probability and if we go below this there is 100% probability because at each energy level there is an electron in valence band at each energy level in conduction band there is no electron means conduction band is empty and this energy level represents 50% probability of finding an electron so we can define Fermi level Fermi energy level Fermi energy level it is the energy level energy level with 50% probability of finding an electron so Fermi energy level for a semiconductor represents the energy level with 50% probability of finding an electron at that energy level now Fermi direct function Fermi direct function it is a probability density function which shows the probability of finding an electron at any energy level E Fermi direct function is a probability density function written as f of E function of energy equal to 1 upon 1 plus E raised to power E minus EF divided by KT E is any energy level energy level where where we want to calculate calculate probability of finding an electron 
finding an electron ef is the fermi energy level that we have already uh, discussed earlier k is boltzmann constant and t is temperature in degrees kelvin this uh, probability density function this probability density function gives the probability of finding an electron at any energy level e which is selected for example if at t equal to 0 degrees kelvin at t equal to 0 degrees kelvin for e greater than ef we already know that at t equal to 0 degrees kelvin at t equal to 0 degrees kelvin for e greater than ef the probability will be 0 and for e less than ef the probability will be, will be 1 that is 100 percent for e greater than ef f of e will be equal to 1 upon 1 plus e as e greater than ef so this difference will be positive e raised to power plus and if t equal to 0 1 by 0 equal to infinity e raised to power infinity equal to 1 upon 1 plus infinity equal to 0 means for e greater than ef there is 0% probability 0% probability of finding an electron next case at t equal to 0 degrees kelvin for e less than ef we already know that for e less than ef we will definitely find an find an electron at an energy, any, any energy level e at t equal to 0 degrees kelvin e less than ef f of e will be f of e equal to 1 upon 1 plus e less than ef so e minus ef this difference will be negative and we get e raised to power minus and if t equal to 0 1 by 0 equal to infinity equal to 1 upon 1 plus 0 equal to 100 percent probability of finding an electron for e less than ef now at any temperature at any temperature if e equal to ef then f of e will be 1 upon 1 plus e raised to power e minus ef e minus ef this difference will be equal to 0 as e equal to ef so e raised to power 0 f of e equal to 1 upon 1 plus 1 equal to 0 0.5 means there is 50 percent probability of finding an electron at the energy level which is equal to fermi energy level of the material Now, first we will see the Fermi energy level for intrinsic semiconductor. In case of intrinsic semiconductor, at T equal to 0 degrees Kelvin, at T equal to 0 degrees Kelvin, all the electrons at t equal to 0 degrees kelvin all the electrons will be in valence band and there will be no electron in conduction band means all the electron lie here and no electron is there means total empty states are there in conduction band and all the energy states are filled in valence band the fermi energy level uh, represents the 50 percent probability of finding an electron so we will plot the fermi energy level here at the center of 
forbidden band uh, fermi energy level for intrinsic semiconductor will lie at the center of forbidden band ef this will be an energy level for which there is 50% probability of finding an electron ef this is fermi energy level of intrinsic semiconductor called efi now if we increase the temperature covalent bonds will be broken generating electron hole pairs generating electron hole pairs in valence band hole will be generated and the generated electron will be will go to the conduction band and in this way electron and hole will be generated at t equal to 0 degrees kelvin the fermi energy level was at the center of forbidden band with increase in temperature equal number of electrons and holes are generated and there are some filled energy level in conduction band equal number of empty energy levels are created in valence band so the fermi energy level of intrinsic semiconductor with increase in temperature lies at the center of forbidden band only means for intrinsic semiconductor the fermi energy level the fermi energy level lie at the center of a forbidden band lies at the center of forbidden band now for n type semiconductor n type semiconductor for n type semiconductor there will be uh, an extra discrete energy level called donor energy level we have already seen this donor energy level will live just below the conduction band the energy level ec just below the energy level ec and at a t equal to 0 degrees kelvin all the electrons will be bonded that is all the electrons will be present in valence band and some of the electrons that is fifth electron will be in donor energy level in donor energy level and uh, now we can say that the electron have the energy up to this level means there are electrons in this energy level so we will plot the fermi energy level above the the energy of these electrons means for n type semiconductor the fermi energy level ef will coincide with ec coincide with ec at t equal to 0 degrees kelvin for n type semiconductor at t equal to 0 degrees kelvin the fermi energy level coincides with energy level ec now with increase in temperature the electrons and holes will be generated but we know that electron concentration will be greater than hole concentration means generated electron concentration will be much higher than generated hole concentration and with increase in temperature it is seen that the fermi energy level of n type semiconductor fermi energy level of n type semiconductor shifts downward towards towards fermi energy level of intrinsic semiconductor here at any intermediate temperature i can show that the fermi energy level of n type semiconductor lie here above fermi energy level of intrinsic semiconductor so i can here conclude that with increase in temperature the fermi energy level ef goes down towards towards e f i that is fermi energy level of intrinsic semiconductor at a very high temperature high temperature at a very high temperature the fermi energy level ef becomes intrinsic fermi energy level ef I means in n type semiconductor at a very high temperature the fermi energy level the fermi energy level 
coincides with Fermi energy level of intrinsic semiconductor which is at the center of orbital energy band then EF is equal to EFI with increase in temperature the Fermi energy level of n type semiconductor shifts downward towards now for intrinsic semiconductor the Fermi energy level was at the center of forbidden band when we doped this semiconductor with donor type impurity the Fermi energy level was not at the center of forbidden band the Fermi, Fermi energy level was uh, somewhere around uh, this energy level EC for example this is the Fermi energy level of doped semiconductor so here we can say that uh, the uh, Fermi energy level of doped in which donor type impurity is added the Fermi energy level shifts upward with respect to Fermi energy level of intrinsic semiconductor and this upward shift is given by EF minus EFI equal to KT log to the base E and D upon an I electron volts this support shift is given by EF minus EFI log to the base E and D upon an I now we will see the Fermi energy level for n type semiconductor P type semiconductor number 3 P type semiconductor for p type semiconductor initially all the electrons will be in valence band and all the empty states will be in conduction band when a material is doped with trivalent impurity there is a creation of some empty energy levels in acceptor energy level means there are some empty energy levels means here electrons can be accepted so these empty energy levels and these are filled energy levels so we will plot the Fermi energy level at between these empty energy levels and filled energy levels this will be the Fermi energy level of P type semiconductor and for the P type semiconductor at T equal to 0 degrees Kelvin the Fermi energy level will coincide with energy level Ev now with increase in temperature as temperature increases like n type semiconductor the Fermi energy level shifts towards the Fermi energy level of intrinsic semiconductor and at any intermediate temperature uh, we can see the Fermi energy level uh, will be seen little bit shifted towards Fermi energy level of intrinsic semiconductor this is the Fermi energy level of P type semiconductor and this is the Fermi energy level of intrinsic semiconductor this Fermi energy level was at uh, EV energy level EV at T equal to 0 with increase in temperature this Fermi energy level shifts towards EFI now at a very high temperature high temperature like N type semiconductor and type semiconductor the Fermi energy level EF becomes equal to EFI means Fermi energy level of P type semiconductor also coincide with Fermi energy level of intrinsic semiconductor at a very high temperature uh, that is in the energy band diagram we will show the Fermi energy level EF and EFI at the same energy level the Fermi energy level of P type semiconductor will coincide with Fermi energy level of intrinsic semiconductor
now in intrinsic semiconductor we have seen that fermi energy level lies at the center of forbidden band and when we For intrinsic semiconductor, the Fermi energy level lies at the at the center of forbidden uh, center of forbidden band EFI. If we dope this semiconductor with trivalent impurity, the forbidden uh, the Fermi energy level, as in the case of uh, as in the case we have seen earlier, the forbidden uh, the Fermi energy level shifts towards energy level ev uh, even at t equal to 0 it coincides with ev so uh, i can say that the fermi energy level of p type semiconductor shifts downward towards energy level ev or towards valence band so i can say that the if a semiconductor is doped with p type impurity its fermi level shifts downward and this downward shift with doping is given by downward shift equal to kt log to the base e na upon n i electron volts so using this equation i can calculate the downward shift in fermi energy level when it is doped with trivalent impurity this was all about a fermi energy level uh, the position of fermi energy level can be asked in the examination and uh, the shift in the fermi energy level can be asked in the examination we will solve one problem on fermi energy level It was asked in electronics engineering in gate 2008. Question A silicon is doped with boron to a concentration of. Four into ten raised to power seventeen atoms per centimeter cube. Assume the intrinsic carrier concentration of silicon to be 1.5 into 10 raised to power 10 per centimeter cube and the value kt by q to be 25 millivolt at 300 Compared to undoped silico silicon, the Fermi level of doped silicon A. goes down by 0 0.13 electron volt goes up by electron volts goes down by 0.427 electron volts the 
goes up by 0 0.427 electron volts. Now we know that we know that the if a semiconductor is doped with boron the resultant semiconductor will be p-type semiconductor and in p-type semiconductor the Fermi energy level EF goes down with respect to Fermi energy level of e, uh, intrinsic semiconductor EFI and the downward shift is given by EF I minus EF equal to KT log to the base e Na upon Ni. In the question, KT by Q is given as 25 millivolt, and in the problem we have written KT. Both these terms are same. Here, this K by Q is nothing but our K and here the value of k is uh, 1.38 into 10 raise to power minus 23 joule per degree is kelvin and q equal to 1.6 into 10 raise to power minus 19 coulomb here k equal to 8.6 into 10 raise to power minus 5 electron volts per degree is kelvin k by q and k here both are same so we can start solving the problem the concentration of donor type impurity the concentration of donor type impurity and acceptor type impurity na is given as na is given as 4 into 10 raised to power 17 atoms per centimeter cube and intrinsic carrier concentration is given as 1.5 into 10 raise to power 10 per centimeter cube. Putting these values, uh, the downward shift can be calculated as EFI minus EF equal to 25 millivolt into log to the base e and na equal to 4 into 10 raise to power 17 divided by ni equal to 1.5 into 10 raise to power 10 it, it comes out to be it comes out to be 0 0.427 electron volts and also we know that if a p type impurity is added the fermi energy level shifts downward with respect to efi so the option C goes down is correct.